Hey everyone, and welcome to a game called Reach. <laughs> this is gonna be a strange one. It's by a guy called M. Dickey. You can get his games at mdickey.com. They're all free, and they're all very, very weird. He's got a game about following Jesus around. He's got a game about being in a prison. This game is about boxing, and we got career mode, tournament mode, all kinds of shit here. But I think what we want to do is go into career, and we're gonna not Hall of Fame. We're gonna start a new career. And what we're going to do is try and create the weirdest looking boxer ever. So, magic cut. <laughs> uh, Alright there. So we got Droopy Fucker here. He's a 70 year old boxer. He's 7 foot tall. 600 pounds. He's obese. Yes, he is obese. Why, do you have something against obese people? Obese people can still box. I mean, look at him. He fits into this costume nicely. I'll go through the costume in a second. Uh, I put all my points pretty much into agility and stamina. So he's a fucking obese guy, but he's uh, agile as, as a cat. And he's also quite powerful. <laughs> so, so alright, let's, let's have a look at his boxing costume. Starting off with a nice raised hat, a lovely yellow hat. Some may say, why do you have a hat in a boxing ring? I say it's to distract the opponent. Same goes for the eye patches. Uh, I was in a street fight when I was younger. Got my eye poked out with a plastic fork, and now I have no eye. Um, as for my hairstyle, well, I'm 70 year old man, I don't give a shit. I got a fucking ponytail, deal with it. Um, going on to the face, well, I have a nice little kind of beard going on. I, I just look happy all the time, because I'm very happy to be boxing. It's always been my life goal and dream. So, the body, as you can see, I've gone for some uh, camouflage sleeves there with a nice bow tie looking waistcoat type shirt, all in one kind of thing. Camouflage just kind of reminds me of my army days when I was in the army. I learned a lot of boxing skills, boxing in the deserts um, <laughs> with other soldiers, I guess. Uh, my gloves, I've gone for pink gloves. Uh, to remind to fight for breast cancer because my ex-wife died of breast cancer Actually, my past four wives have all died of breast cancer. I don't know what it is. Maybe uh, Something to do with never mind moving on shorts. I've gone for a nice Fire theme there as you can see the fire goes all around my thighs kind of um, Alluding to the fact that the fire in my loins is burning with a deep desire even though I am 70 years old uh, I've also gone for some shin, for some knee pads rather, and some high boots, um, but shoes on top of the boots. Just in case I fall down in the ring, I got some nice protection on my knee pads. So that's my boxing costume, but when I'm just... <laughs> Alright, so, when I'm just walking around town, uh, you know, I got my nice red kind of cap there. All the youngsters seem to be wearing these caps nowadays, so I'm going for that. And some might say, Droopy fucker, even though you're obese, how come you have you have four pack going on? I worked very hard to get these four packs. The other two packs I lost somehow. But um I try and keep in shape, you know, I got a boxer, even though the flabs of my legs this is I have no I have no trousers on, I don't think. Unless they're like same skin colored trousers. I might have skin colored trousers, but I've gone for tartan shorts and some sandals. And I've also trying to set a new trend here. I'm going for completely. Um, some people have sleeveless shirts. I'm going for the opposite of sleeveless, which is just sleeves. So I'm just wearing a sleeve shirt. I don't have shirt. You you know what I mean. So I think I'm ready here. What's my uh, my gimmicks? I went for I'm angry. Um, all this is just kind of my taunts, you know. This is my taunt. Look at that. Look, you're doing so little damage to me. I might as well punch myself. And then the other one is just simply a raised arm. Kind of boring, to be honest. And what's my theme tune actually? Oh, this is my theme tune. You ready? That's enough of that. Um, let's start a career, shall we? Hello there, manager. Welcome to the Boxing Entertainment Commission, droopy fucker. I'm glad you accepted our offer. 
Yeah, no problem. You know, I your offer was very good. I don't know what it is, but we've had Dick the best fighters from all over the world to help get this thing off the ground. Yeah, well, I am one of the best fighters in the world, of course. You see my Gary's Mod videos? Jesus. It's not like anything you've seen before, but you're gonna love the way we operate. I'm sure I will love the way you operate. I love this office already. Big windows, very nice. We schedule fights on a more regular basis, which means more money for you and more fun for the fans. Well, sir, I'm all about the fans, you know. And in between rack matches, you can also set up your own PPV bouts, so take part in tournaments. That's very kind of you, you know, I, I, I would like to do that. Hell, we even let you bend the rules to fight in whatever circumstances you can agree on. Seriously, whatever circumstances. How about... I... Well, I'll think about that. Along the way, every victory over a superior opponent takes you up the ranks and every loss moves you down. Wow, that's how a rank works, I guess. Don't get too comfortable, though, because competition is fierce and losers can be replaced at any time. Well, sir, I am not a loser. But you look like a winner to me. That's right, I am. So let's get you out there kicking some ass and making some money. All right. Oh, oh uh, be sure to stay in shape and get a manager to help guide your career once you made a name for yourself. Well, I'm sure my name will take care of that itself. Droopy fucker is not a very common name. I'll be watching your first match with great interest, so make sure you do us proud. Best of luck out there. You kind of look like Gary Oldman. Alright, what the hell is all this? Um, goodness, okay. I think we should do some training before we start anything. I'm going to train more of my uh, toughness, I guess. I need to be tough. I mean, look at me. I'm a, I'm a fat mess. Let's change your toughness. Press any two commands. Oh, right, okay. Oh, shit. This is how you increase toughness. This is a professional way of doing things. Level one. Oh, God, this is hard. Can you hear me fucking... Raping my keyboard right now? Jesus. I can't keep this up. I need to get to level 2, however. Come on! Oh, yes! Oh, Jesus. I feel like I did a fucking workout in real life. Jeez. Uh, I'm not doing that again. Fuck that. Okay. Um, I think we should do some sparring. Just because I don't... I've never... Well, if not fuck the Messiah. I gotta beat up the Messiah. I don't wanna beat up the Messiah, it's Jesus. Here we go. Hua. Come here, you son of a bitch. You ready for this, Jesus? Oh, Jesus can't dodge a left hook and a right hook. Oh god, he's beating the shit out of me. Let me go low, going low, and then go high. Suck it, Jesus. You scared, huh? You scared? You don't wanna come down here? Alright, fine. I'm getting, I'm getting in. Three. Chill out, ref. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go, Jesus. Ready for my right hook? Yes, not. Right hook. Right hook. Right. Right hook. Right. Right hook. Oh, we're hugging it out. Just kidding. Bang! Yes! I beat Jesus in a sparring match. Yeah! Keep walking, bitch. Woo! 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 Yeah! Oh shit, I just punched the ref! Run! Woohoo! Oh god, sorry! Hey Jesus, good fight, good fight! Come here! I wanna shake your hand, just kidding! Fuck you, Jesus! So, Punchline, very nice uh, name for a boxing newspaper, I guess, is um, showing that I have beaten the Messiah. 10 points to 9, reasonable score for a sparring session. Well, I think that's. I'm done training, I think. Maybe I should do some power training. What's this? Oh, I gotta do this again? Fuck me. I can't be bothered. 30 seconds. God damn, fast forward. I'm too competitive to stop! Oh, forget it. Forget it. Also, why are you doing all your training in your uh, casual attire? That's kind of weird. Well, I'm done. I need to go uh, arrange a fight, I think. Let's fight uh, heavyweights. Let's fight Borat Tundra. 
Sounds like a good name. Nope, we gotta fight Big Pussy. I would like to fight Big Pussy. Hi Big Pussy, I'd like to talk to you about stepping into the ring with me for a PPV bout. Yes. Who the hell are you? I'm not wasting my time on some amateur that's still learning the ropes. Hey, who do you call an amateur? I'll beat the shit out of you. Oh. Alright, fine. Let's, uh... We need to fight with someone else then. How about a lightweight? How about... Um... Now this seems like the kind of guy I want to fight. Yap Massacre. Hey, Yap Massacre. Well, I'd like to talk to you about some people by fighting me in the rings, you slut. Yes. How's it feel? Who the hell are you? I'm not waiting. Oh, god damn it. He looks like fucking Goku or some shit. Or oh, who's the guy? Dragon Ball Z? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um... Oh shit, I just lost 400 bucks. Oh, Christ. Droopy fucker seems to have lost weight. The 70 year old now weighs in at 550 pounds. Well, how the hell did I lose weight? I didn't do anything. All I did was beat the messiah. Um, okay, let's... Let's proceed, shall we? I think we have a fight now. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending this press conference on the first week of August 2014. Oh, they got the date right. That's really cool. We're here today to talk about the heavyweight contest between Poker Paolo and Droopy Fucker. It's actually Fucker, but that's okay. Poker Paolo, I'd like to start with you. There's one question on everybody's something. You're not the strongest boxer in the matchup. How do you intend to deal with Droopy Fucker's power? Yes, how do you intend to deal with my power, you son of a bitch? You look like a fucking uh, dumbass. And your uh, coach, oh, uh, a Droopy Fucker has already lost. It's plain to see that he hasn't prepared properly for his match. A mess it hasn't been cancelled, but I'm not going to argue against an easy victory. You're damn right I've not been preparing. I've been preparing all the time, actually. Juby Fucker, how do you feel about that? What are you relying on to win this match? Well, I'm relying on my quick agility in the ring, my ability to weave in and out, and exactly, pa Paolo is too slow to keep up with me. I'm just going to make him look stupid all night. Because he is stupid, he doesn't even dress properly. Look at his dress sense, he has nothing. You can't hit what you can't catch, so I'll dictate the pace of the action and fight the way I choose. I'm gonna bob in and be um, beef out. Bob in and bob out, I mean. Listen to Muhammad Ali, I'm gonna sting, sting like a bee. Okay, I think we better wrap things up before we witness an impromptu fight right here and now. What? Oh, you want me to fight him now? Thanks for attending and be sure to buy your tickets for Poker Paolo vs Droopy Fucker. Or Fucker. Fucker? I don't know. Look at the crowd, they're all facing the wrong way. What a bunch of idiots. Here I come, ladies and gentlemen! Your main man, Droopy Fucker, weighing in at 550 pounds. Hey everyone, I am the champion. High five! All you little minions. Look at the size of me. Jesus Christ. Number 30 in the world. Oh look, I'm on I'm on the camera. Oh. Oh look. This is uh Paolo. What Paolo's gonna do. Oh it's so painful, Paolo. Ooh. Alright, here we go. I'm in the ring now. Let's go. Surprised I can fit through those ropes. Yes, I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, and here comes my opponent, the disgusting Paolo. Smells like turkey. Uh, sweaty bastard, very hard to uh, not smell him from here. His manager as well, bald, uh, not bald, I mean old fuck. Uh, that's his actual nickname is old fuck because he's the oldest manager in the world. I'm surprised that he's still managing uh, people at this, at this stage in his life. I'm gonna fuck you up bitch, you and your leopard skin pass. Are you starting to fight? What's his ma- yeah. Get in that corner. I'm gonna dictate the pace. I'm gonna dictate everything. Oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Now dodge like a butterfly and then go in like a bee. Boom. Hey, Paolo, look over there. It's your wife. Boom. I'm fucking your wife. I mean, I, I messed that up. Aw, hug. Just kidding. Bang. You can't catch me, motherfucker. I'm too agile, motherfucker. Come get me behind the ref. Oh shit, you got me. So, uh, at the end of that round, I got a 10 out of 10, and I and he's got a 9. 
Hey, you fucking what? You fucking what, mate? I'm gonna knock you the shit out in the next round. You watch it. Fuck you, I'm gonna knock your manager out. Oh shit. Okay, it started. Oh, the ref's now getting involved punching everyone. Jesus Christ, what's going on here? His manager is still in the ring. Oh god. Get out of here. Ugh. Here we go, the crowd is cheering. I'm bashing his face in. I'm unrelenting. Unrelenting with this power. Yeah, you like that, Paolo? I'm backing off. Just kidding. I'm going in for the kill. Ugh. 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 Oh, here we go. He's fucked. KO. KO. I got another 10 out of 10. At this rate, I'm going to kick the shit out of him. Hey, fuck, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god, I actually knocked him out. Yeah, who's the man? No, the other one. The other one. Droopy. No, the other celebration. Oh, god damn it. Come on. Get out of here. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, that was awesome. I've knocked out the ref. Oh god. Left hook, right hook, right hook, right. No, Paolo, fuck. Paolo, get out of here. Oh shit, I knocked him out in, when the round ended. Whoops. Um, sorry, I'll just... I'm only going to use my left hand. I'm giving you a chance here. Stop doing that. <gasps> Man, you really should block. I'm already telling you my plan of attack, and you're not even blocking it. Block to your right. Just put your right hand up, and you'll be able to block this. Oh shit, I've done it! He's down for the count! Ref, count him out! Count him out! Hurry up! Okay, I'm, I'm away, I'm away. No, he's not. He's slowly crawling. Oh, that was so close. Paolo, you man of great spirit. Oh god, ref, I need to sit down after that. Being 70 year old is not what it used to be. I used to be a young, sp 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 uh, sprucey, young, f young fella, you know? I used to have three girls going at once. One on a Wednesday, one on a Friday, and one on a Saturday. Um, the other days, I was boxing, of course. Alright, Paolo, time to die. Three, two, one, bang, suck it! Yes, I'm the champion. Let me s step on him. Okay, fine. I'm, I'll leave. Fine. There you go. Count him. Hurry up. Oh my god, this fucker just doesn't give up. Jesus Christ. My eye. Here we go, Paolo. Fucking have it. Yes. God damn it. He's, he's up again. Goodness me. Admire the strength of you, Paolo. But seriously... Oh god, the ref just punched his manager in the face. What's going on here? Look, the ref's not even looking. He's not even concerned about this fight. Oh, here he comes. He's running over. Yes, have I won? I think I've won. The referee's trying to make his mind up, even though clearly the points are in my favor. What's taking you so long? There you go, droopy fucker. I'm the champion. Smell my armpit, Paolo. You're getting all up in my grill? Here's a hug for, uh... Yeah, well played. I admire your, your spirit and your courage. Shows everyone that you can go down five times in a fucking fight and get up every single time without it even... Oh, that's enough. Stop hugging me. Yes, I am the winner. He has no idea what's going on. I think I've caused some sort of brain damage. Now he's hugging his manager. Goodbye, everyone. It's been fun. Uh, I've enjoyed my first fight. I hope you all have enjoyed me. There's more of me to come. Uh, I don't know why the ref is following me um, yes here we are we're backstage now this is nice oh what's the ref doing he's touching himself goodness ref what are you doing why are you following me this is kind of strange where are we going even I'm just backing up I don't know what's back here oh god what is this I can't turn the cat oh I can turn the camera around oh Jesus this is very strange um, <laughs> toilets, huh? Ref, I'm using the toilet. Why are you following me into the toilets? Come on, I need some privacy here. I also can't walk backwards, which is kind of... Holy shit, can I punch the ref here? Ref, fuck you! Just kidding. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I'm trying to exit. I don't know what's happening. I'm s I think I just press exit, right? Ref, oh, ref, what you doing? 
Chill out, I'm sorry I punched you. Dropping you a line from ringside, all the latest boxing news. Droopy fucker has defeated Poca Paolo by 60 points to 51. Uh, Poca Paolo's profile has suffered considerably. So here it goes, my first fight is over, I've won, I'm successful, Drippy Fucker is the champion, uh, you know, this guy is just such a beast. So um, thanks for watching guys, and if you did like the video and like the series, like it so I know whether to make more of this or not. I might try and play some of the other MDiki games, they're all quite similar, the one in prison seems kinda cool, if you wanna see that let me know. So thanks for watching. And take care and peace out.